from Ann Arbor, Michigan, I give you James Lights Out Tony! Well, if Horatio Brandon has a mean streak in him, it's just gotten meaner. <laughs> because James Tony on his introduction pointed right at Brandon. And I don't suspect the visitor from Argentina enjoyed it. It is said that Brandon has a huge punch. Like a lot of Latin fighters, he will telegraph his shots. But if it gets there, it's got something on it. Tony will have to watch out for it. Tony, on the other hand, has a big left hook and left uppercut. And that is what Mr. Brandon must watch for, as this one is scheduled for six, a pair of middleweights in what might be the most evenly matched fight on tonight's card. Well, the speed could be the whole story of the thing, Jim, and that man, uh, it's believed, James Tony, has the hand speed to keep Brandon off rhythm, not let him get anything established, get a rhythm started in the fight. If that's the case, James Tony can carry it. Some people feel that, 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 that uh, Tony has a habit of fighting to the competition rather than at his best on call. Not, uh, Sure, I've particularly noticed that, but I haven't seen all his bouts. He is quick. He's got a flicking jab that does have some power and a great straight right hand. When he gets it launched, it can hurt you in a hurry. Now that, that wasn't flush or hard particularly, but down the center does look open. The left side of Brandon is down a little bit defensively. Brandon does look like he's asking for trouble holding that left hand down by the hips. That's where Tony's working his left as well, but he's got a little bit quicker hands. I guess in that sense, it's not as risky. Here's the right hand. Tony tried to unload it as a lead punch countering over the left. Didn't get there. Well, there wasn't much there for Brandon as he threw three shots. And supposedly he had a big shot, but nothing was on those first three. Looked like the right was open. Tony passed it up. Looks like Brandon wants to counter, too. Big right. Best shot of the bout. Not huge, but the best shot so far from Tony. The right hand along the ropes. Good body shot. Got under the elbow. Kind of a stationary fight so far. Mm -hmm. I think both fighters trying to feel each other out a little bit. A little bit more than a minute left to go, round one. That was tricky. Couple of left. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon caught the first one on the glove, the next one on his elbow. Tony now trying to open it up a little bit offensively. Tony's Big right shot. hand caught Brandon against the rope. He gives a little stutter step. You can tell when, when guys get their confidence, when they really feel like they hit a moit, they can come out there and do a little dance. But from what I've seen so far, I'm not so sure I buy the word that Brandon has a huge punch, unless he's hiding it somewhere. Why not? It's early. <laughs> Just the way he looks. He throws with his shoulder. He doesn't really get his legs into it. Right hand over the shoulder caught Tony on the ear. No problem. Coming to the end of round one, we will stay right here. Very little action indeed in round one, although James Tony, if there was anybody that you could call a winner, Chris, and you're keeping score, it might be Tony only because he landed a couple of decent shots. The right hand, about a minute into the round, that may have been the best punch to fight. Closed okay. It was decent in the middle minute. Got a good rate. The best shot of the round was his. And he came in with a couple more later. He carried it by a narrow margin. Interesting signal from the corner. A lot of fighters hear from their uh, seconds over there. You know, 30 seconds, 15 seconds. That went off the shoulder, but he did drive him into the ropes. And I think we're going to see one of the one good right hand that came in the early part of the round. Well, that wasn't the one we were talking about specifically. Small piece, small piece. Back to the signal, Jim. We, we saw a second of James Tony over there. He about broke the corner of the ring, pounding on it. 
They do it from an audio standpoint, that signal for 15 seconds to the end of the round. Tony, with no question, the quicker of the two with better hand speed, comes out, opens with two left jabs. hit against the ropes. Moves his head, moves his upper body, covers up pretty well with his arms, and it looks as though he doesn't mind fighting with his back to the ropes. Well, he has a chance to come out of there right now if he wants. He's staying right there. Tony will let him out, it looks like. Now he spins it around. like if Brandon had his druthers, he might stay inside or stay with his back against the rope and try to counter anything Tony throws. Tony spinning himself around with that uh, missed hook, does it again, leaving himself open for a right if Brandon can get it free. Kind of fighting almost sideways. Brandon against the ropes, fights back off, but stays there. Thanks. Big right hand by Tony. Brandon answers with a left hook. I don't think there's much punch there from Brandon. And it's still early. <laughs> Good right hand there. And Brandon's hurt. Tony's got him hurt on the rope. Dale Grable steps in. And he will give him a standing eight. It was the rope that held Brandon up. He is at six. And this is over. Brandon does not know where he is. Dale Grable stops the fight as Horacio Brandon is TKO'd by James Tony here in the second round. And it didn't look like he was in trouble at all, but one big shot got through. And Horacio Brandon did not have the answer. He had been uh, accumulating blows in the far corner and got him trapped on the rope for a couple of good sequences that softened him up and maybe he was at that point ready to go and then when they switched sides of the ring good 45 seconds later Jim one big shot finished it off and uh, James Tony finished well in this one to run his record to 18 and 0 with uh, 15 knockouts and it was scheduled to be a six round fight interestingly enough you know he came in at 17 and 0 he's now 18 and 0 and willing to take a six round fight He's just willing to fight, to stay sharp. Here's some of the work along the ropes. See, he just works that left continually. The right hand comes in. Not all of those are flush, but he's active. Well, James Tony came off the ropes a moment ago, Jim, out of a clinch, too, and he kind of grimaced to himself and said, oh, come on, guy, talking to himself a little bit, and then toward the end of the bout, he just moves him down into the corner and did indeed put him away. Drew a standing eight count till Dale Grable got a good look at Horatio Brandon, decided that that was enough. That's it right there. Right just there. across the ear and then a couple of more. It's kind of there. The uppercut. Another one. And then Grable's in there. He was gone before those last yeah. three. And then Grable and I don't think steps in. Right. And I don't think Tony felt that after he'd gone around with him that uh, Brandon could hurt him. So he just went to work offensively and got it done. Let's go into the ring now and get the official time from Wally Jackson. Our referee, Dale Grable, stops this contest at two minutes, six seconds of the second round. Winner by TKO, still undefeated.